Morning, everyone. It's maths this morning. Um, so in maths this week, we're still going to be looking at multiplication, um, but we're going to look at arrays in multiplication because they are a really good way of helping us to solve multiplication problems. Um, so I am going to show you what an array is because arrays are all around us all of the time. So we're going to use some real life arrays to start with. So let me just share my screen with you. Here we go, right. Start the slideshow. Right, here we go. So here I've put two arrays on just the title page here, one with um, a lovely tray of Krispy Kreme donuts and another one with jelly bears. Now an array is something that where, where we organize objects or drawings into rows and columns. So it makes them easier for us to count groups and because it's counting the same lots of groups each time, it will help us a lot with multiplication. So let's have a look at my next slide. So here we go. An array is an arrangement of objects into rows and columns. OK, so a row here, when you look at the eggs, OK, when we go across and count the eggs, that is the row, just like when we say when we're counting in ones along our 100 square, we're counting along the row, okay? And here, there are two rows of eggs. Okay, so there's one row, and here's the second row of eggs, okay? And then we're also going to look at the columns, because you can see as it's, it's been arranged in a certain way, it's got rows here, and then when we, when we go down, that is a row, a, um, a column, sorry. So here we've got, one column, two columns, three columns, four columns, and five columns, okay? So how could we count this array of eggs? Let's have a look at what groups we can see. So if we look along the row, we can see that it is a row of one, two, three, four, five eggs. And there is also five eggs on the next row. So that's two lots of five or two groups of five that we can see. But if I look at the columns, if I go down, look, I can see a group of two. Oops. And another group of two and another group of two and another group of two and another group of two. Group of two. So that is two, four, six, eight, ten. OK, so I can either see two groups of five or I can see five groups of two. So when we're looking at arrays, we look at the columns and the rows to see what we can find. So if we move on to the next slide. Just going to move that out of the way. OK, here are my five groups of two that I could see. Look, I've drawn pictures around them so that it's really, really clear for us to see. So it can be written as two, add another two, add another two, add another two, add another two equals 10. Okay, so we could write it as a repeated addition number sentence. But we've also been working on, we know that repeated addition number sentences can be really long. And there's an easier way of doing it because we can do it as a multiplication sum. Because all multiplication is, is counting the same number lots of times. So here I've got five times two, because there is one, two, three, four, five lots of two eggs. So five times two, two equals 10. We also know that we could actually do it the other way as well, because we've got one, oh, one two, three, four, five, Two. So you could write it as adding two five times. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Right, so on here, look, I've now decided in a different colour, I've looked at the rows. And so I can see that one row of five eggs and another row of five eggs. Okay, so it can be written as a repeated addition sentence, which is just going to be five add another five and that equals 10. Or we could write it as two lots of five. So we've got two lots of five equals 10. Or the other way we can say it is that we've added five two times. So there you go, that's 
add five up two times. Um, so I'm going to move on to the next one on here. So if you look at these real life arrays here, you can see they really are everywhere. I wonder if you could pause the video and just see what different groups you can see in these arrays. So remember to look across at the columns. Uh, I'm not doing very well with this today, children. If you go across to look at the rows and go down to look at the columns, okay? Right, okay, so hopefully you've paused me now and you've had a little go at seeing what groups that you can see in these arrays. So if I look at this ice tray, is what I think it is, okay, it's got a row of three and another row of three and another row of three. So that could be three add three add three equals, I have to count in threes now to work this out. So three add three is six, add another three, is nine. So three add three add three equals nine. Or I could write that as a multiplication sum because I've got one lot of three, two lots of three, three lots of three. So I could write three times three equals nine. And uh, let's have a look at another one. Well, let's have a look at this big bar of chocolate because chocolate is Miss Eckett's favorite thing. So let's have a look at the row. First of all, Miss Eckett's making sure she's getting her words right. So one, two, three, four, five in that row, which means that underneath there is another row of five and another row of five. So that means there are three lots of five in that row, isn't there? So I could write five add five add five equals 15. Um, or if I look down the rows lock, I can see groups of three. How many threes are this? There's one, two, three, four, five columns of three. So that's five groups of three. So I could write three at three at three at three at three equals. Okay. I could also write those as a multiplication sentence. So if I've got three, five columns of three, then I could write that I have got five lots of three. So I could write five times three. Or I could do it the other way, look where I've got one lot of five, two lots of five, three lots of five. Okay, so I could write that as three times five. And then if we use our counting skills to work it out, then we would be able to find the answer. Now I could do it in threes if I wanted to, but I think I'm better at counting in fives. So I think I can find the answer with five. So let's have a look. Five, 10, 15. So the answer is 15. Let's move on to the next one. Right, so here you're going to have a little go yourself. So you've got another ice tray here with squares. And what I want you to do is to look at the rows and the columns to see what different groups you can see. And then you're going to write it as a repeated addition sentence. There should be two different repeated addition sentences and there should be two multiplication sentences. So I'm going to do the first one with you and then I'm going to leave you to have a go at the rest. So here, look, I have got, I can see in the rows, there are groups of three. Right, so that's one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups of three, five groups of three. Okay, so I'm going to write, I'm gonna to have to do it with this magic pen down here. Okay, now you, if you're, you've got some square paper, you may be, to be able to fit the numbers into the boxes, but I think with the computer pen, it's going to be a bit tricky. So bear with me. Right, so I'm going to write three, add another three, add another three, can you remember how many threes I've got to add all together? That's right, it was five, wasn't it? So I'm going to do one more. One more three, okay. There you go. So three add three add three add three add three equals. So let's see if I can count these together. So three 
six, nine, 12, 15. So I think the answer is 15. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the other way in a minute as well, just to make sure because Miss Eckett's definitely counted, it counts better the other way. Right, so that's one repeated addition. Now, if I could turn this into a multiplication sentence, what would it be? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, lots of three. So I'm going to write five times three equals 15. Okay, so I've just changed that repeated addition sentence into a multiplication. So now I'm going to look down the columns of our array. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five squares. So I've got one column of five, two columns of five, three columns of five. So that's five, add another five, add another five. It's a bit like that chocolate bar we've just looked at, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to do five, add another five, add another five, equals. Now I am better at counting in five, so let's see whether that was right. So five, 10, 15. So yes, I was. The answer was definitely 15. So there we go. Right, so then I can change that into a multiplication sentence because I've got three lots of five. So I'm going to write three lots of five also equals 15, okay? Because remember, multiplication is just adding the same number lots of times. So here, look, we've got our five threes and that equals 15. So you've got five lots of three, or you could say that you're adding three five times. You've also got here three lots of five, but you could also say that you're adding five three times, okay? Right, let's move on to the next one then. So you're going to see if you can have a go at this one yourself. There's some holes in the washing basket. So I wonder if you could have a look at the rows and the columns and see if you can write down the two repeated addition sentences and the two multiplication on the squared paper. So I've done that one. And then there's also another one, look, with some lovely tasty donuts. And then when we move on, I've also then got some pictures of arrays here. So what you could do is if you're able to print this out, you could stick it into your book and then see if you can write the two repeated edition and the two multiplications. If you haven't got that, then what you could do is you could just look at them and maybe number them. So the pairs one is number one. Okay, and then you could write me the repeated edition number sentences that you can see and you could write down the two multiplication calculations that you can see as well. So there's one page of that and another one, and another one. So I think there might be some twos, fives, and tens in there. Okay, I look forward to seeing your work. I may even have put on here. Can you use, if you want to really a good level up challenge, then try this at the end. Can you use objects in your house to make your own arrays to match these calculations? Okay, so you've got four lots of five, three lots of 10, seven lots of two, three lots of three. Can you make those? You might have um, buttons, um, you might have bottle lids, you might have some counters, some building blocks, um, whatever you think you could use to make some arrays of these. And I would love to see some pictures of what you produce. Okay, well done everybody. I look forward to seeing your super work in your, your maths um, work today. Um, so good luck and I look forward to seeing it in the portfolio. Okay, bye-bye.